Uh, it's good to be here. Speaking of your face, let's just give everybody a, a C. That's B, right? That's my bro, bro. We straight kick it. And uh, get ready for what may be the most exhilarating two hours of your adult life. At least. I, that's the only way I know how to put it. it it's like, describe your show exhilarating. <laughs> Overly exhilarating. Masterful. Um, wondrous. How do you top that? I don't know. It's hard. But, nonetheless, good to be here. A lot of stuff to talk about. I feel like I'm echoey a little bit. I feel a little echoey. You know, and I don't know that that's okay. I don't think that that's what I want to be. I'm, I'm trying to tinker with some stuff. It's been a long time. We are actually, we are back in studio. We are at the brand new DRN studio. It's actually the DRN A Cut Above studio. Nice new one. Yeah, on, uh, on MacArthur. Here, right off of uh, off of MacArthur, like On I just the said, right. strip. Yeah, here in Springfield, and uh, cut above a uh, fine haircutting place, barbershop. I mean, the name says it all. I mean, absolutely. They are cut above. Right. Um. Let me just. I gotta. You know, the sound to me is. I'm picky. Stop that. I can't help it. I feel like. You know, like you sound good to me. Thank you. Ooh, you sound <laughs> nice. <laughs> You sound nice. Too. I slapped a bit. Yeah. So, but to me, I'm like all echoey and weird. I don't know. Maybe it's the headphones. It might be, but you sound good through my headphones. Is what I'm trying to say. Like you sound fine. Me, not so fine. Mm. Not so fine. Can't have that. I know. I totally agree. Um, I apologize for missing the show last week. We did not do a show, and I, I feel bad. But we got a little. I guess I just need to get right up on the mic. That sounds a little better. We got a, I got a little busy. We were celebrating my, my mother's birthday. I was going to come uh, do a show right after my mom's birthday. But I ended up hanging out there a little bit longer than I thought. So I just didn't. I mean, I just I couldn't do a show. Well, you know, Memorial Weekend, you know, family's got to hang out. You yeah, know, absolutely. You got to get in touch with your family on Memorial. Yeah. And we did. We hung out. We had a good time. Not bad at all. So, uh, the, unfortunately, though, I... I missed the opportunity to do my show. I was going to do one on the Monday, but then, again, we got caught up. I had a bunch of... I just... Sometimes it's hard to get to. Sometimes I got a lot of stuff going on. We're working a lot, so my weekends are... Uh, they're jam-packed. Like, Putting in some manly days. Yeah, man days. <laughs> man days. My back is feeling it, too, bro. <laughs> my back is feeling it. I bet. But, uh... It is what it is. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about it. I love being me. <laughs> um, plenty to talk about today. A lot of stuff. Anytime you miss a week, uh, I mean, stuff just piles up. So there, there are things that have occurred in the sports world that we, the athletic supporters, will not get to ever because yeah. I missed a week. <laughs> just not going to happen. I'm not going to dig back a week and a half for a story. <laughs> but, um, but still, plenty to talk about. So we'll do that. We'll get right into it. I just, I don't, you know, this is always my problem. You have to have, like, a lead story to kind of, you know, suck people in and really get them. But I never really, I'm, I'm never good at picking the lead story. I mean, obviously, the finals are happening. This is huge news, great news. The Lakers and the Celtics have both made it to the NBA Finals in case you are living under a sports rock. And, and have not heard that. Yeah, and have uh, no idea what's going on whatsoever. But it's, it's happening. I mean, it's really happening. I couldn't believe it. That's going to be a good one. And I was talking to Diggs. I was talking to a uh, little Dougie, and it was right after. It was right about when both of the series were about a game three or so. Right in there. It was after, you know, the Lakers won game one against the Spurs. The Celtics yeah. won game one against Detroit. Yeah. And I think it's it's pretty much unanimous. That would have been the most boring finals <laughs> yeah, I mean, Detroit and San Antonio, give me yeah. a break. So, but, but still, it felt like it. Even though the Lakers and the Celtics both went up 1-0, it still, it really, really felt like, still, they weren't going to pull it off. But to me, and then after uh, after both the, the Spurs and the Pistons came and, and took a game back, I was like, oh, see, there it is. Yep. It's over. I'm never going to watch basketball again. I was, I, I can't even take it. Yeah. I can't even take the Spurs and the, and the Pistons. They're absolutely got. I mean, 
they're great teams, terrific teams, obviously, but how boring. Yeah, I mean, they made it this far and everything, but, I mean, how exciting is it? You it's know, nice. would you rather see Kobe and KG out there or, you know, people for the other teams? That's what I mean. Yeah, it's just, you got to, you have to entertain me. I mean, that's part of basketball. You have to entertain me. And, it, and they just don't do it. They, they do not. And I know I've said this a million times, and I'm always on here ripping about the, ripping on these two teams. And I, I'm not like a total hater. I understand the greatness of both teams because they are. They were able to be the two of the most dominant teams in their respective conferences over the last, I mean, almost decade, it seems like. It really feels like the, the yeah. Spurs and the Pistons have been on top of their conferences for a while. They've been right there. They've been right there every year. Every year. You're in and you're out. So they they play really really well together, but they I mean they just they lull me to sleep, and you know among all the other stuff, Diggs and I were talking, and I was just like, man, can't you just kind of feel it though? I'm like, even though, <laughs> and even after both, I think Boston and LA went up two one. It's still it's. I was like, man, don't you kind of? <laughs> it's like an underlying thing nobody wanted to talk about a little bit, you know, like, yeah, but I think the Spurs and Detroit are both going to win. Don't talk about it, you'll jinx it. Yeah. So, I mean, everybody's just like, yeah, yeah, go Lakers, go Celtic. But it's still, I think everyone had that same feeling I did. Like, oh, crap, we're going to see it again. We're going to see the stupid finals with <laughs> stupid Duncan and stupid Pistons. Stupid Pistons.